Hi everyone, welcome to Tackle Thursday. I am Sharon Sims, your host of Tackle Experts, weekly live chats with friends and associates of Tackle. I'm coming to you again today from Tackle headquarters here in East Perth, and I'm joined today by Devinder Singh, uh, Executive Manager, International Relations. And before I ask uh, Dev to take us through the roadmap to a COVID safe Australia, uh, I just want to quickly update you on the numbers here in Australia. So we had a quick look um, at the statement released by the Prime Minister Scott Morrison uh, Friday last week, I believe. Uh, 1,000 active cases in Australia with 97 deaths. Here in Western Australia, we only have seven active cases. Um, I'm not sure of the number of deaths here in Western Australia, but but quite low. Yeah. Uh, so all in all, Australia is doing uh, really, really well in terms of um, COVID Australia. Sorry, COVID nineteen. Um, our government has put some pretty uh, good measures in place to help us through this situation. So as I mentioned earlier, you're going to walk us through the roadmap that was yeah. released uh, last week as well. So would you like to tell us about the different phases that have been? Yep. Um, thank you guys who are coming on live today uh, with us uh, and spending afternoon with us. Uh, you, just from a good news point of view for all the students who are joining us live and who might see this video afterwards, uh, it's a good news that uh, yes, uh, Australia is, is moving on towards opening up uh, because there were earlier so many you know people had that in mind that we might be closed for till end of this year. But the, the good, very positive news about all the international students that, you know, the universities and the colleges will start mm. reopening in terms of taking international students, yeah. which is a good news uh, for all students who are onshore or offshore as well. <clears throat> so, you know, from that point of view, I think it's very become very important for all us, for all of us to know more in detail what's the roadmap, uh, what when the Prime Minister talks about COVID safe Australia, what does he mean about? And and you know, we will take you through you know the three step roadmap what he has outlined uh, last week. Uh, and I think it's it's a it's a commendable job they have done, and they have released quite a few details among it. And and they are gradually opening up. They are not taking that much of risk, and and they are con- containing uh, so that they can contain the spread. And if there's something happens, they can retrieve back also. So there's a there's a you know there's a there's a between step one, step two, and step three of the pathway there is all there is some you know gap so that they can if something goes bad they can you know go back to the yeah, and step. reassess definitely so and the, these three steps are you know uh, very fairly simple the first one uh, which talks about uh, the first step one which is uh, we are currently part of uh, that we are reopening has to commence mm-hmm. you know there is no lockdown uh, with standard physical distancing and hygiene measures Everybody has to adhere to 1.5 meters of distance in social settings, and the and and people can go to shops uh, and people can go to restaurant cafe, coffee cafes to do a takeaway. So those things were <clears throat> taken care of. Step one, which we are currently part of, and which is being into currently into play. Mm-hmm. So 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 and and you have you can meet uh, in a gathering of you know 10 outside. Yep. And every state, we have eight states and territories in Australia. Every state and territory have different guidelines further to elaborate on step one, what That's they have right. done. Depending on, on where they're at with their um, COVID cases. Yeah. So each each of our premiers has been given the OK by uh, Prime Minister Scott Morrison to adhere to each of the steps as and when their state's actually um, able to do that, which mm. I think is really good. So we're not all forced to reopen and um, yeah. follow the guidelines at the same time. For, for all you all, their premiers are equivalent to a chief minister back in India. So, so the premier is the term used for chief minister. So, so the premiers have the rights to play it within their state or territory in a different way because, for example, New South Wales and Victoria had the large number of cases. So there's a bit of lag from their point. They will start these, the, the roadmap will be same, but the timing might change. Definitely. So, so they're also adhering to the same plan. Uh, and then from here we go to step two, which mm-hmm. is the, the phase two of the uh, roadmap, which is most of the businesses will reopen mm-hmm. uh, with keeping in mind the same physical distancing and hygiene measures. Uh, a typical rule which they are using nowadays is four meters square. You yes. know, one person in that workspace, pe- you know, offices are opening, people are going to work. People are attending, uh, people will attend the work when this phase starts. Uh, for Western Australia, Perth, it will start from 18th of May. Okay, so that's next Monday. So, so coming Monday, so this phase starts for you know, Perth uh, from 18th of May. Mm-hmm. 
and <clears throat> there are 20 people can meet in, in a gathering uh, outside the home uh, and gyms will open up, beauty saloons will open up, cinemas, theaters and museums will also open up and 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 for our state we will release more of you know interstate within the state there are so many borders so we will you know people will be allowed to travel across the districts so so which is good yeah so that opens up um, another area that's a really strong um, factor in the Western Australian economy which is tourism so uh, opening up the um, regional borders is really going to give that economy a boost um, which also provides more jobs mm. so that's really good news so the interstate borders are not yet open yeah. um, although they are yeah. i think does that come in in step two or yeah step you're right step, step two. two but at the moment it's just opening up of, of the yeah. um, regional borders there are areas of western australia that that we still won't be able to travel to yeah. um, but most of them will be open which yeah. is really good news and a good thing about it is uh, as a because in WA we have allowed that the cafes will open and restaurants will open with the capacity of 20 people sitting in. So for all the international students who are working in hospitality mm. uh, as casuals and who've been put down, they will get the opportunity to come back. It's really good or, or for you, all you guys out there who are in, in, in Australia and they were looking for jobs, they can you know get back to their employers or they can find jobs in hospitality. They will come up for sure as they, they will open up. Uh, so, which is a good news uh, that you know, you know, people are struggling. If you have people who they need some job, they will get one uh, if they if they are looking for it. Um, and and that's that's what is step two. And uh, the third phase, which is more of broader opening. Yeah. Uh, the, the the phase two is phase three is all all about opening up and and reducing the uh, opening up almost all businesses. So and in which you are allowed to have gatherings up to hundred people, mm -hmm. uh, and you are opening food courts and you are opening international travel also. So the third phase, which is more important for you all guys sitting outside Australia who are wanting to come to Australia for your studies, uh, the third phase when it starts uh, probably where, you know July and and and, and further, uh, the dates are not confirmed by by the prime minister, but uh, probably July. Uh, so that's when the international travel will open up. Is that just for students though or is that international travel as a whole? I, I think they have specifically mentioned international student travel. Mm -hmm. So I think they are thinking specifically about students. Right. Yeah. So and, and that might come with some level of quarantine. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, it might be a safeguard or, 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 or a risk measure from, from the government point of view that if you are coming from those countries where the spread of COVID-19 is still at very active stage mm -hmm. uh, and it's still growing, yeah. uh, you might have to quarantine yourself for 14 days or 21 days, whatever yeah. the government decided at that point in time. So I think that might be only in a case-to-case -case basis and we might know more about it as and when we reach that of stage. Course. So I think uh, so. You know that yeah, I think we are waiting for phase three, mm -hmm. and, and 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 you all should also you know you know look forward to phase three as and when you know the students and the travel open up. Hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I was listening to um, a Western Australian update this morning. So it's mandatory as of Monday, Monday the 18th, that all students return to school, which is really good news. Yeah. Um, places of worship will be opening up as well. So I know a lot of people have been um, feeling uh, a little bit lost without being able to attend their usual place of worship. Yeah. So that's really good news as well. So uh, I think it's amazing the way uh, our Prime Minister and our WA Premier here have really handled the situation. So the taking care um, of you know, Australians um, and they've really got um, a, a specific plan in place which really should help people who are feeling a little bit anxious perhaps yeah. about sending their children back to school yeah. or returning back to the workplace yeah. themselves so yeah. th there's definitely a plan a lot of workplaces um, are required to undertake mandatory uh, COVID hygiene practices before they um, yeah. reopen and have a, a COVID safe plan You're in right. place as well yeah, yeah so I think that that is very important for our workplaces to make sure that in how they are managing mm -hmm. how they are managing uh, the, social, the physical distancing and hygiene what kind of practices they are they are using you know who's cleaning how many times you're cleaning is it a deep clean or is it a regular clean so they are doing all those activities and and for all the students and all the uh, viewers who are in Australia they should you know keep remember these five things which I'll uh, talk about now uh, from to, to keep uh, to, to uh, one is maintaining a physical distance of one 1.5 meters, mm -hmm. uh, maintain a good hand hygiene. And so wash, washing your hands, really? Yes. Okay? And, and 
uh, and then you stay home if you are sick you don't need to go to work and uh, we have a covid safe app in australia to we do, do a, yep. uh, tracing of individuals if who if they are get they are getting in touch with people who are, have covid 19 so you should download the covid safe app that is good uh, so so with this you know we would like to you know thank you for joining us today uh, and and spending afternoon with us Yeah, thank you very much. That concludes another episode of Tackle Experts weekly live chats with friends and associates of Tackle. As always, feel free to comment on the video or connect with us on our Facebook page, and you can connect with us through our website, which is www.tackle.com.au. And Tackle is T A C L E, so www.tackle.com.au. Um and so as I said that concludes another episode So thank you for having a chat with me today Dave. Thanks Sharon. And until next week stay safe and stay informed. Bye for now. See you next week.